hello guys welcome to solving solutions on one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to use a um, global mapper to create grids right good now this is the option we are going to create grids using global mapper now before we proceed we need to configure the crs of our workspace or maybe of the of the environment to projected them um, coordinate reference system so let's come to configuration then um, under configuration we come down to projection and then we can see that it's under geographic right good so let's uh, move to utm and then the zone we want to work on is um, utm zone 31 right okay utm zone 32 so let's get there and then think um, almost the other stuff are okay apply and then okay good now you can see utm zone 32 we click on what create grid now there's a tip we click on okay right let's see there now this is the grid setup the grid placement slash m orientation the rotation angle clockwise right good let's make it 90 degrees then the number of um grid rows yeah let's make this um let's say 50 and then let's make this 30 so it will be what 50 by 30 right good rows by um columns right so we have about um 50 rows and then 30 columns then the grid cell let's um also make this um let's say 50 by 50 so we are having what um a square a square grid cell right now the unit is here if you want to use um different units you can actually use it so we are using what um 50 meters right now um the anchor grid um, top left to click position now when you click on anchor point you know because we are using them um, a projected crs you have seen utm meters right good so if we were using them um, geographic we would have seen something like him um, latitude and longitude right so we have um, some we have a point so we copy the eastern then we paste it somewhere here yeah. similarly we copy the nothings and then we also paste it somewhere here yeah. good so this will now serve as what our starting point right the anchor point so we click on ok now there are some other options you can look at the grid numbering is it sequential or um separate um rules slash column labels or numbers let's um leave it as um sequential numbering but remember you can always um same check the both of them to see the outcome how it appears on what the grid that you have created right good now grid them features to create create grid cells area features now you can actually create line features but when you check all of them at the same time you are going to have what a a crowded what grid that will be displayed right good so you can be checking them all at once maybe to confirm or maybe you can be checking them one after the other to see how they also what appear on what your global mapper so let's um check create grid cells area official and then also create points at what grid them um, cell centers right good so we click on that then we click on okay so we have about what um 3000 fissures let's um zoom to layer good so it's still very loud now you can see the center that was created and then you can also see what they are numberings right good so this is how you create what grid cells now what we have actually used was for the training purpose yours might not be as much as this because this looks well this looks um so crowded with what with grid cells right good so so before we leave we need to still export this to any other um vector format so we right click we export is there as a shape file okay let's use them um, autocad dxf so we can just um, move it to dxf good now let's click on okay 
good so we are working on a folder called grid let's call this um, cells good so we can decide to access what the autocad file now good so you can see we have actually moved what the grid that we created down to autocad now these grid points can help you create what um, more interpolation points perhaps maybe if you want to interpolate your points maybe you would know based on the intersection you know how you can get what new points right good so thanks for coming to class and um, we hope we have um, shown you so um we hope um, we have shown you how to use um global mapper to create grids right good then we've told you that um the number of cells and then their their dimension is dependent on what the inputs you have actually made during the grid creation right so we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye